Hi everyone. Well, you know, you can tell from the smile on my face, it has to be Friday. One of the best days of the week. Just something about Friday that just makes you smile. Oh my gosh. And so it's something special today. I'm having another bottle of Wink Wine from my Wink Wine box, having a little bit of dinner with you guys. I'm all dressed up with this wig that might be from Timu. That might be my new favorite accessory because Kim from Kim's Happy Boxes, she said it makes me look 10 years younger. You know, she's my new best friend. And you know, when I'm 90 and I'm still wearing this wig and she says, oh my God, Nancy, you still look 10 years younger. I feel like, oh my God, I'm 90 years old, but I can pass for 80. Oh my God, I'm going to be the happiest 90 year old alive. But anyway, happy Friday, everyone. Let's get into having some wink wine and some dinner. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another Friday night at Nancy's. We are going to have another episode of Wine Diaries. We're going to have, I think this is the third bottle of wine from my 14th box from Wink Wine Club. Loving that subscription. I'm having so much fun with this and uh, I just knowing that it's Friday. Knowing that you guys are here and I'm wearing my wig from Timo loving this wig this is only the second time i've worn it but first was just to try on does that count for wearing it but you know what i'm it just makes you feel young again and thanks to my new best friend kim from kim's happy place who said nancy you look 10 years younger i'm going to be wearing this a heck of a lot more often i tell you i just hope it doesn't get all tangled and hard to take care of well it's cheap enough i can buy more yeah, so timo has been really, really fun shopping. I just want to quick go into my eyebrows because, you know, I did my eyebrows for you guys tonight. I did both eyebrows. I know it. So I had bought this little thing. This, well, it's a brush that I got on Timu. And it's got this kind of angled kind of thick brush right here. So I thought instead of trying to do it with a pencil and just feeling like I'm just drawing a line and I've got this, I'm going to say it wrong, from I Method, this pomade that came with those stencils that's really easy to do, but I just never think about taking it out uh, anymore. But I thought, well, maybe I'll try using this. So and I've only, I mean, this is going to last probably my whole life, right? But anyway, so it's this little pomade. So I just kind of dipped the brush in there and then did this, uh, wider part right here and then up into the arch on both sides and then I just kind of drag the color down with the skinnier side of that. Wicked, wicked easy. I'm going to enjoy using this pomade. Maybe I'll dig out the stencils again to try to do something special but this brush was really really fun. Again this was on Timu. So just that little brush and I don't remember how much it was but I think I've got it my one of my last Timu video so I'm gonna put that Timu video up there that was so much fun I've got two more okay so I got three more boxes coming but oh my god it's amazing it's just a lot of fun it's a guilty pleasure shopping there because everything's so inexpensive I've had really good luck with the things I bought so I'm looking forward to doing some more but back to wink loving my subscription from wink and again i'm going to leave that up there too my first unboxing with wink i'm going to have the playlist at the end that's going to show the different wines that i've tasted from them um in the beginning i was trying to do all four bottles in one video but i didn't get to really have any snacks with it i'd rather have some snacks and relax and enjoy so i decided to just go back to doing one at a time one a week sometimes i have to skip to fit other things in but having a little bit of dinner a little bit of wine and just sharing it with you guys been so much fun all right so what do we have we've got another cabernet sauvignon and this is from invoke it's from south australia and i got my aerator in here from miss barbara jean from age is just a number by barbara jean so it's 2021 cabernet sauvignon again from south africa and got my glass here but i've got a dinner that i'm excited to try 
it didn't take that long to cook and it smells amazing Alrighty, so let's pour a little bit in my glass and even though it's got this aerator we'll let it soak a little bit here aerate a little bit more breathe a little bit and see it is a nice dark purple but it is a nice deep rich purple right here and it is coating my glass that's telling me that it does have a higher alcohol content Alrighty, we're going to let this breathe and tell you about my dinner now. I don't really know what this is, but you know how I do the Target home deliveries? And um, so I was in the mood for steak, but you know, I didn't really know what I wanted. So they had, and it was like kind of cut all measured. It was like a flank steak and it's like kind of thinly sliced. And it was a pound of it and it, they called it bagoli or something. So it's been marinating in some seasonings and things like that. So of course, you know, I've got to add my own things. So I fried up some onions and peppers, some fresh garlic, some nice olive oil with some salt, some pepper, and I had like a prime rib seasoning, seasoning and some kind of marinated steak uh, seasoning. So I put that in there and then I put the meat in there. After that, it simmered a bit and just had the smell of garlic and onions throughout the house. It was so nice. So I cooked that in there and then when I put it in there, I said, you know, I think I want it a little bit juicier. So I had an open bottle of the sweet baby raised the sweet teriyaki barbecue sauce that I had on my last steak when I had marinated it put some of that in there and I but I knew I was going to put in some steamed Japanese vegetables that I also got from frozen foods at Target so I put in some soy sauce in there while well, that was cooking in there I put the frozen Japanese vegetables because it was a steaming bag and then from Innovation Foods that's another frozen ones I love this sticky rice so I had that in the microwave cooked them both for like six minutes while the steak was kind of frying in and soaking up all those flavors and yeah so it came out then I cooked the uh, put the uh, Japanese vegetables in there and then let's put it on top of the sticky rice and I probably have enough for about five meals it is amazing that smells really good I cannot wait to taste that but you know what I'm more excited about I'm excited for this Cabernet Sauvignon in a folk. Alrighty. So I know we're going to swirl this around in here. See if I can figure out what it smells like. See what those fragrances are and go from there. So I hope everyone had a fabulous, fabulous week. We had a couple of days of snow, but I think we probably had like one day we got three to four inches and then other days it just seemed to snow all day long built up in the yard a little bit but not so much like in the driveway or the walkway so that tells me it's starting to warm up underneath spring is coming Alrighty. oh my gosh i can i can feel something right here so i think that's pepper maybe some plum maybe some blackberry and something smooth um could be vanilla but it's probably more like chocolate yeah Okay, I'm going to go with chocolate. Alrighty. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. Here's to a great Friday night, great weekend, great friends, great food. Cheers, everyone. Mm. This is nice. It's smooth. It's rich. It's got a really nice, a nice heavy texture. A little dry, but not too bad. You can feel it kind of dry as you start to swirl it around. But there's so much like a fruity flavor in here. The acidity just kind of kicks in. Your mouth starts to water. The flavors are just bouncing back there, coming alive. I think it's plum, some blackberry, maybe something else that I can't quite figure out. Something hot in here, so I'm going to say pepper. I think the smoothness, the richness is the chocolate that's in here, like a cocoa. And um, yeah, it's just a nice smooth, it's got some heat in it. And of course, I do have this at room temperature, so it's just the flavors just really come alive and just really, really enjoying my red wines at room temperature. Anyway, I'm going to have another quick sip and then uh, see what my cheat notes say. Cheat, cheat, say. Cheers, everyone. Mm. This is really nice. If you like Cabernet Sauvignon, 
And if you can find that Invoke brand in your store, it's got a pretty label here, purple. It's a really nice one. Alrighty, so. Okay, so um, it's 2021 Invoke Cabernet Sauvignon from South Australia. And, I, and it must be a new wine to them because only 954 people have tasted this and put their comments in there. Um, so it's rated 3.9 out of 5. I'm rating it a 5. It says it's velvety, peppery, and luscious. Um, full body, dry, 14.9. It says the tasting notes of black currant, black pepper, cocoa, and leather. So it's a rich, fruit-forward cab serves up the taste of Australian winemaking. Wouldn't it be great if wishing for things made them appear? Well, we can't offer your heart's every desire. We can summon up a red that's your answer to. What do I serve the next time I'm grilling? Well, fire up the bobby for Invoke as Australian Cabernet Sauvignons that's tailor-made for flamed kissed meats and veggies. Bold flavors of blackberry, plum, peppercorn, and cocoa powder will be just what you crave. And oak aging means that this has the stuffing to go up against hearty fare. But it isn't just food wine. A decadent side means you can sip this by itself as well, making this a red that's just about perfect. It says serve it decant or pop open for 20 minutes before serving i am going to this had a screw on cap i'm going to put the cap back on to save this because i'll be drinking this for a while and it pairs well with burgers beef pasta with red sauce and chocolate cake you know i've seen that chocolate cake a lot for a while i was seeing everything that kind of just they could just kept mentioning fries so i had to buy some obvious fries and have that just as a snack i might have to get some chocolate cake all righty it's going to have a little bit here I didn't really cut my meat, so. But I got some meat and I got some veggies, some rice. Mm. Great dinner. Great wine. Great company. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. I hope everyone goes out has a fabulous fabulous week i'm trying to think of what color wine i'm what color wine what color wig should i get next i know these are really fun and um, again so i'm going to have my timu uh in a card up there i'm going to have that first video that i did from my wink wine, wine unboxing i'm going to have a playlist at the end so you can see the different wines that i've had different foods that i've had with it and i want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me you guys rock I'm so blessed. I'm so lucky to have you guys in my life. Thank you so much for having a Friday night dinner and wine with me because we all know it's not healthy for Nancy to drink alone. So anyway, go out everyone. Have a great time. Stay safe everybody. Be Take care. Be safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. I love you guys so much and we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.